Hi everyone, I'm Michele, Digital Transformation Manager at Zimotion. I'm excited to welcome you to the first tutorial of the Unreal plugin. Today, I'll be showing you how to get started with this amazing new plugin. We go through the installation process, opening the ZLS file, applying the simulation engine, and even changing some basic parameters in Unreal Engine. With Zunreal, you can directly connect Z-Wave to Unreal Engine platform. This is a game changer that will revolutionize the way you work. So, let's dive right in and get started. So, first of all, we have to install the Zunreal plugin. Follow all the instructions and the job is done. Before doing anything else, we have to check if our ZLS file is correct. So we simulate on Z Wave with a standard avatar. After that, only save the file and exit. So what we are going to do now is open our Unreal Engine, create a new block project, creation we have to manage plugin choose by typing Z in real our new plugin and install it the engine has to be restart to apply the plugin to the new project After restarting, you can see that you have on the top the Zero Real plugin installed. So now create a new level. Perfect. And now open your ZLS file that you have previous saved. Most important in this case is to don't to don't import the avatar because we want to change it inside the Unreal Engine. So you will find your project in the content drawer in ZLS and Z Unreal. You find the blueprint that you can easily drag and drop on the scene. Okay. First thing is to locate your project on point zero 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 on X, Y and Z. And after that, decrease the mouse speed. After that, you can easily locate your view as you want. step is to place our simulation engine on the scene you can easily found on place actors and you have to search Zillus simulation manager and after that we import our avatar in FBX file to our scene and then if your FBX has animation you have to check to import the animation.
okay. And now you have to check if your avatar is perfectly aligned to the project that you have imported. In this case, we have to move a little bit to align better. And after that, we go to the Zillus Simulation Manager because we have to apply the avatar and the project to the engine. So the first is the project to the engine, our project, and the second is the avatar to simulate. Okay. Now you can push the play button and see if the simulation works on the new avatar. Alright, the simulation is all done. Now, let's explore the specific parameters that you can tweak. To begin, you can simply start by selecting each individual part, one by one for example, and move it as you want to align or do many other things. For every single piece you, you have the chance to change the materials you, have, you can easily change all the parameters of the fabric, making Z wave, and all the other parameters, but we look at that in the next session. Now I'm gonna show you some things very useful, like change the thickness of the, of the pieces and also change the morph of the pieces like in the wave as well so find a good position and go to details parameters and change the fabric and also change the boundaries of the pieces in, I don't know, flat, round and if you scroll down more you can change the morph of the pieces This is the end of this first tutorial about Unreal. Thanks for watching it and hope it helps you. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to our official channel. See you in the next tutorial.